Okay, stream is live. Double check restreams receiving it. Yes, it is. Either connecting. Okay, does this work? Testing, testing. No laugh, the sign doesn't work. Sounds like it works. <laughs> okay, so let's 3D model some shit. <laughs> because I'm bored. And I want the pen holder for my end to us. Because I decided to get one. Uh, Okay, so I got a new intro. So I have the sketches over here of what I want to make, and I know how to use Fusion 360 with a mouse, but let's try making it with the graphics tablet. This is not going to go in well. No, oh, we buggered it up. Okay, first of all, it may help that I. Okay, there's no damn escape key. First of all, it may help if I actually do use some tablet properties. So let's actually get some of these things up. Click. And then Okay, modifiers, on D, um, keyboard, keystroke, escape, I don't know what I'm going to do for these, so, no. Let's just do zoom and zoom out. Oh, I just heard something. Oh, hi, Serial. How on earth did you get here? <laughs> um, I have turned off alerts, so let's turn them back on. Alerts are on now, so that should work. Okay, so that's these property settings done. Let's actually try and model, fail at modeling this. Thing with a pen tablet. This is not going to go well. Okay, I need that plane. I need that and I this here. I'm literally just sketching out what I want to make. So I need to go out, and this is going to be much easier for keyboard. So this needs to go out 15 cent, 15 millimeters. And then we've got that. And then, yep, that works. That works out here. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Okay, sorry the alerts wasn't on. I completely forgot to enable them. I'm going to stop listening to music because I'm throwing my full train of thought off. This needs to be bigger. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Just undo that. Let's just sketch this again. This is more of an exercise of can I learn how to use a graphics tablet? So I'm going to be slower. Than, I could do this quite easily with a mouse. But, oh, damn it. I maybe should have put escape, escape onto 
the pen. I probably will be using it a lot. Uh, let's try this. Okay, so here we go again. You know what they say? Hard to time the charm. Okay, no, I'm just going to use a keeper for this. And then you go 15 millimeters out, since this is going to have a 15 millimeter diameter. And do it. We'll probably escape that. Okay, let's actually like stop these like pop-ups coming out. We already know what they can be. They're going to zoom and zoom out and undo. And I don't need that. So let's close. I'm going to move this tablet in a bit better. So I actually have some way to work. You can't see my sketch. My sketch is on my paper back clip. Sorry if the mic's also really bad. I'll probably change another battery today. That might be the next thing. Might be modeling a battery filler to go into this mic here so I can stick a, a normal double A from rechargeable double A into this thing. Okay, what else do we need to do? So we have this. Okay, if we go up to sketch here. Oh, no, I want that. And uh, we want a circle and we want center diameter circle. Oh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Center diameter circle. So if we get a circle here. There's a circle. This is probably better. I probably better doing this on um nice. <laughs> Zero. Why are you placing my tune and watching me screw up trying to make something cut? Okay, so here's a main circle. If I go up here. No, oh, oh, damn it. There we go. So this is the nav box for fusion. This allows you to see things. I, okay, that looks like it's a com in the completely wrong. Yes, that is in the completely wrong plane. If I look at the from top there, that's in the completely wrong plane. So undo. <laughs> is this is a really good idea, serial. You're watching me screw up trying to sketch out something because I haven't used it whack on tablet before. Alright, let's try this again. Let's do a circle. I'm looking from the bottom down, so I can't really screw this up. And we need this to be 30. I'm going to use a keyboard for this, because this is going to make my life a lot easier. There we go, there's the circle in the right plane of it. Uh, modeling isn't that hard, you just need to learn. So this is the main base of thing of the holder. I'm going this is gonna have a contour, but I'm actually doing this to get some start. And then what we need to do is we want another circle from the center. And I want a space of 13 millimeters like that. And this is where the pen's going to go. So if anyone's just joining, I am creating a pen holder for my Intuos tablet because it doesn't come with a pen holder. Yes, a new Intuos does come with like a place that you like plop your pen up on, but I want a pen holder. So yeah, let's zoom out a bit. And... Oh, damn it! Wrong point. There we go. So there's a base. So first, so first of all, I want to create this center bit here. That's going to be the bottom of the, where the pen's going to go. And I, may, I'm, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to create another sketch. It's a circle sketch. I'm going to zoom in a bit. A circle, and um, we're just going to have a, about a five millimeter circle there. Oh, so this five millimeter circle, if I keep pressing the wrong things, damn it. Five millimeter circle, I am going to use the keyboard to lock that in. So this is going to let the tips sit in. 
So I'm going to drag this up. I'm going to, okay, I'm actually going to go and oh, exit sketch view first before I screw anything else up. So this here is going to be the center. This is just this is going to come up three millimeters, and it's going to give a give me a tiny little bit of room for my tablet's tip, uh, the pen tip to go in. So I don't bottom out the tip. It would probably be fine, but I'm three D printing this, so I don't want to take chances. And just just tip, get the steel wheel out. I don't have a proper pair of, ca pair of calipers, so. Yeah, it's about two millimeters. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna bring this up. So this is gonna come up five. This is gonna two and a half. Five is probably more two more than I need for this, but I need it so that I can still have that this all divot divot. Say that. Still got the rest in there, but we'll work that out later. So we want to extrude this two and a half millimeters. And then we want to. Okay, where's the okay? Where the hell are my rest of my sketches? Let's undo that. Well, let's bring this up first. I want this to go up four to forty. So let's go modify, and we're bringing it up forty. Oh, let's do these. We want to look at the top. Where are my flipping sketches gone? There we go. Sketches. This is why I'm forcing myself to learn how to use this tablet. Okay, so. Well, it's going to be 13 again, so let's just dial the numbers in by the keyboard because I don't want to bother having to try and get my accuracy with a pen tablet. That needs to be 5. Enter that. This is going to. Now, let's modify this. This is actually going to be done really quickly, ironically. It's literally as a sphere. It's making this look nice, this is going to be the problem. And we want to modify this and we want to pull this up by I think it was five I want to pull this up by five millimeters. This is gonna have pulled above the actual thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to return to home view. Yep. And then so I do this for four forty and if I bring the inspector up we know that's five millimeters. <coughs> so we need to go down. So we need to add so we need to go down by this column length because we still want five millimeters left. So we're just going to escape this view first. We're going to modify this drawing and we're going to pull it down by minus 40. And it doesn't look like, so we're going to pull that down. I can go and modify again. Minus 35. There we go. So if I go and do a top view, you can see where it is. Now I think it, it looks like it's way too high and not wide enough. So I may actually, I'm actually going to cheat a bit. I'll bring that down to 35. This is 30 by 35. And this is probably not going to be the best looking pen pot, but it will do. So I want to look at a top view here. I need to do a sketch. Okay, let's go back to this pen tablet because that's what I'm here to learn. <laughs> well, remember, Serial, we do have training tonight. Okay, so we need to select that plane, select the right spot. Flip me, I'm absolutely horrible with a pen tablet. Yeah, it's in about an hour. Okay, there we go. There's, we're, we're done there. Now let's exit sketch. There's probably a faster way with a keyboard shortcut, but still. 
we modify. And this is going to cause another same problem, but we only want this to pull up by 2.5. And it's probably going to go 2.5 above this, which will be ironic. So let's return to view now. Let's look at the bottom here. Okay, so that isn't meant to happen. Whoops. Uh, that is definitely not flat. Five, so we need to push that back up by five. So let's just modify, modify let's stick it there. Minus forty. Okay, that's. Oh, I see what I've done. Oh, I, I've completely screwed this up. So, yeah, damn it. Be easy from here. You know what? Screw it. So, undo, 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 da, 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 da. leave me back on my original sketch. We're using a mice again because I am seemingly failing. It's not that, it's probably because. Okay, there's a sketch. Let's create 25, enter. Let's create a cylinder. Look, let's plane this here. Just going to be 13, and then we'll return to this view. We want to pull it up by five millimeters. There we go. <laughs> My slosher deck is getting really strong. <laughs> Why are you you're wrecking enough cereal with a Flipping, uh, the the losing train of thought. Uh, the blaster. Why do you need to pick that up? Like, okay, so I hopefully select the circle. There we go. And I'm back to it. Back to a pen. Using the pen. Five because you can't get accurate things. Pen. And then this is wanting to pull up the way, but we're wanting to pull down the way on. For this thing, so we're going to go minus 2.5 because 2.5 like that. And if I look up top now, you can see we have diff the different concaves. This is gonna okay. So now that we have that done, we can do this and we can add a shant. Shantbur onto this here, so we can go into create and what is it? Not laugh sweep. Okay. Is it sweep? Okay, I, I can't exactly remember, but we want to create a. Actually, you know what? I can actually just sketch this. So. Oh, we're going to need to go. I'm going to need to get a calculator for this. Okay, my calculator's in the bag. There's my other calculator. Nothing like a nothing like a graphic like a graphing calculator to save your life. So let's just go and all clear. So we want to circle. We want to circle up on here halfway between this wall and this wall. So I know, so for that we need to do 8.5 divided by 2, which is 4.25, 4.25, and then we're gonna, we need to add on from here outer, so that's 13 and a half, so that's 12, 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6, 6 and a half. So 10.75, so now let's just go up. To the top view here, Let's sketch it out. A circle, center point circle. So we can just go and do 10.75. That's completely incorrect. Why is that? Because it's a, it's a diameter, so we need to times it by two. 
So 10.75 times it by 2, execute. Okay, what's the hell is that? Okay, 10.75 10 times 2, execute. This is a, oh, flip, I keep pressing the wrong one. 10.75. This is a really old calculator if you're wanting. 21.5. So 21.5. There we go. So now I, uh, we can probably exit sketch mode. Okay, approval. It's probably selected the wrong plane, but mm. but we can probably add that circle back in ten to circle we want that plane there we go there's a uh, there's that sketch on the right surface now now we can just go and we can probably cruise this and we want to cut this Hmm. This is right now. It's been that long since I've had a do one of these. Operation, not new body, we want to cut into it. To cut. Oh, for this, this is a. This. Is uh, this is Fusion 360? This is made for like designing 3D objects, so I'm going to print this out on the 3D printer afterwards. Uh, other ones I have uh, for move over, move out of the way. I have what do I have here? I've got Autodesk, and if I find a Windows button. And I can pro I think this button scroll. Okay. Uh, let's I have Maya, so that's animation. I use art with that. There's one two two one three two one two three D design, which is quite a nice app for beginning. But that's it. okay, let's try and actually get this damn chamfer, right? Is it red? Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh my word, how hard is it for me to create one of these? Okay, oh, let me, okay, nope, 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 Undo that. I do not want to create a form, that's a bad idea. Well, I could probably use this. Yeah, I can probably. I can actually just use that. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to stream both. Both probably. I'll be. I'll definitely be streaming uh, Squidward Splat series tomorrow. This is just one of those random streams I decided. Why the hell not? <laughs> The stream. So, okay, let's. Oh my word, I don't want a sphere! Flip me! I want a Taurus. There we go! And then, well, that was like that plane. Okay. Mm. I've collected them on the wrong place, now I've got to escape. Let's move that down there first. Oh, um, okay. Well, you know what? Okay, screw it. I'm gonna use the numpad again. I need like a separate numpad on the side. I haven't got around to designing that. That might be the next creative thing I do. 
I might be creating a PCD. So. Okay, so we know that that was at 21.5, and then we know we want this to be. Uh, no. Want this to be a tiny bit bigger, so this is going. Okay, I, that's going to be a join onto a torus, and then torus diameter. Oh, there it is. So this is so I know that I turning is going to be eight point is eight point five so eight point five that works mm. I guess that yeah that works so let's see how that looks whoops looks on. Okay, where's rotate? There, oh, flip it. There we go. There's a little bit. A little bit. There we go. So that's what it looks like in my life, but like, hmm. I'm not really. Uh, that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I have a three D printer behind me. Uh, it's in my room, but it needs another power supply before it can actually properly start printing again. There you go. That looks good. I kind of want to bring. Okay, I'm gonna go modify, and I want to bring this out. Let's say two millimeters. Three millimeters should do. Actually, no, that's gonna do the whole entire thing. Okay, so let's just undo that torus. Let's extrude this outer assembly. By two would be will work. I'm gonna use I'm gonna go home. I'm just using a mouse because like, these are quite little changes. Okay, radius six. So yep, yeah, that's that's the same diameter. So that's Working perfectly fine. If we want to go and inspect this again, okay. Mm. Measure. So that's fifteen and a half now. Which makes sense because we're not really changing any numbers, so it let ten and a half, sorry. So ten and a half millimeters. We really want to go down and get some chowder. I'm quite hungry. <laughs> Add on with the Six and a half here, so six point five. <coughs> so that's zero one across seventeen from the middle. So I need to create a new sketch. So then go back into sketch mode. Okay. And okay, so I want to create a circle at two points. So it's seven, so I know the diameter is 17. So 17 times two. Oh, whoopsie daisies.
is Freddy 4. I cannot do mental mass in my head at all. Okay, so I can actually see the calculator. This is one of those really old calculators from like, was, when is this calculator really old? Okay, you know it's a, cal a good calculator and it's a Casio one still made in Japan. <laughs> the FX7. Okay, that's a really old calculator. But okay. Okay, we want the sketch. We want a circle. Center diameter circle. We want it right from there. Ah, damn it. Select wrong one. Well, first of all, let's see. Let's get rid of this one, and then let's get rid of that sketch. Okay, apparently I can't get rid of that sketch, but you can see. Actually, you can actually see how I, I've made this thing so far. So, I can go back. Okay, probably not in sketch mode. I probably need to exit sketch mode, but we can have a look at that in a minute. A circle, and we want a center diameter circle. And we want that to be 34. Actually, no, 34 isn't correct. 34 will go out. Okay, yeah, that is definitely not correct. Okay, my number's wrong, so let's, let's get the inspector light again. Uh, that would explain why it, it, it's, undone some, it's undone some of my steps. Okay, that's just great. But that wouldn't have worked anyway because I would have had to have. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh right, because it... so I've royally screwed this up. So this here is ten and a half. I needed to actually half ten and a half, and that's. 6.5 to that, so 10.5 divide by 2, execute that is 5.25, add on the 6.25 from center, gives us a, di a radius that we need of 11.75, but we need a diameter for this, so we'll times that by 2, 23.5, enter, enter, there we go, there's our sketch done. But we still need to know that this here, out to here, this end, this, oh, let me, where's my, where's my, oh, there it is. It might actually help if I move it into the center here. Let's, let's just close this browser off for a second. So we know that from this center, out to that center, how much it is, this. So we can, I like, exit sketch view. I, Stop using this as a touchpad. That would help greatly in my ease to get this done. So we'll do the same sphere. No, sphere. Oh, no, why am I doing sphere? Torus. I want to do that. I want to pull out to. I want to pull out to 23.5, as I said. Enter. And we know it's 10.5, we need our torus to be. Oh, no. I haven't locked it in place yet. Okay, yep. And I've chosen the wrong thing. Okay, okay, so there we go. So now we need to do a add function. So we're not cutting away, we're joining it in. And we need to do this with 10.5. There we go. Now I want this here to taper down this way. So if you can see my cursor, I don't know if you can see my cursor or not. Uh, let's see. 
Can you see my cursor at all? Yes, you can see my cursor. Okay, now I can't see the restream, the live stream chat because I thought it would be us up. There we go. So let's. Oh, whoops. Gone into Windows mode for that. There we go. So now I want to shunt for this in so we can actually do a loft now. Oh, on there, down to there. Cut and okay, that's probably okay. That doesn't want to do that for some reason. I keep reaching over to my keyboard. I, I could print actually that as is, but do you want to kind of add a chamfer onto that? Mm. Mm, I guess I can try rib. Don't we really do this ever? Okay, so typically that's all we have. Actually, you know what would help? I could just ever do a sketch out on the bottom. So let's go to the bottom here. So this is the bottom. Let's, let's zoom in and go and let's, let's move my object a bit. Okay, let me, let's inspect this. So diameter of 34. <laughs> so we want a circle of 32 when we do the sketch because okay, that can move right there. Because reason so because I want to do a loft too, so we go back with the sketch, we'll do circle. There we go. Select that plane. And we'll set it to 13 millimeters. Oh. 13 millimeters. We can now stop the sketch because we don't need it anymore and we can Flick it back into the home view. And we can try the loft now with the two points. So the two points here will be just under this torus that we've added, and just under here. And we can do a cut. That's okay. We want that. Okay. So now. This should know if we inspect this down to here, it should technically no longer be a yeah, it shouldn't be 35 anymore. Oops, how's that done? So let's just drop. Wow, it's just okay. Undo that. Me accidentally pressing this. Awesome. Okay, actually, mm. Oh, oh, flip me! There it is! Damn it! So this is the... Okay, it's under modified. Damn it! I'm an idiot. So we didn't even need to do this bloody... Okay, this actually... This is what I want anyway. Adding a bit of height onto it probably would just help us for stability. But let's actually modify the damn thing for what I want. Chamfer... Uh, 
Let's add a chamfer of two onto the bottom. Yeah. Actually, I don't want a chamfer. Let's undo that. Let's rehome this item. Oh. I go on the modify and I, I feel it would look a lot nicer than the chamfer. It will also print a lot better. There we go. Now, a lot of these sketches that you've done aren't needed, but it will work fine. Well, that looks okay enough. I do kind of want to push this and this, though. I do kind of want to create a chamfer on that. Or, oh, or draft work. No, okay. Let's try that. Let's try Shamper just. No. No, don't want to do it. Well, looks like we're going to just have this, so. Let's just control save that. Uh, that is pen folder v1. Save that. There you go. There's the uploading. I could, yeah, uh, uh, that's what's we done. How long have we been doing during it? I've spent 41 minutes on a pot hold, on a pen holder. I'm so inefficient. Okay, I could have done this so much quicker if I wanted to play with pen. But if I let's export this now, so we go into file, we can go into 3D print. My 3D printer is a tiny bit broke still, so okay, I want that object. Come on, don't freeze on me, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. There we go. And um, yeah, let's save that to my desktop. Here it is. Double click on it, it should open in Cura. And we can see how this will look on the 3D printer. So I'm gonna print this out with Color Five at Color Fab XT, probably. Uh, Okay, where the fuck are you, Cure? There you are. Let's rotate this. There you are. And hmm. What have you? So. Okay, why on earth? Peel edit. Pum, okay, doesn't want to work. Okay, I'll fix that later. Well, thanks for watching the stream, guys. Uh, and girls, I'm sure you are watching. Um, I can't even not stop the screen because I, the way I've set up the wall com settings, the wall com settings, damn it. Well, that's me. I am going to finish because I need to eat dinner. Good night.